50 years from now, the world has changed in many ways. Also, cargo handling has kept evolving. Yet containers keep moving. Ports are located offshore. Megaports are artificial islands where the optimum layout is utilized. Feeder terminals can be floating or structures that can be moved around. The container itself will remain as it is, a compact and standard format to move cargo around. The material of which containers are made might change to something else. They are also foldable, have integrated intelligence, and can communicate with the outside world. Intelligent, fully automated lashing systems can independently form different sizes of container packages that can be moved around. Many ships in operation today will still be around in 2060. However, next generation ships will be fully automated or with a very small crew. The vessel's container block or its entire cargo area can be separated and the actual ship can then pick up the next cargo block and sail on. Storage of containers is organized in underground silos. Solar panels on top of the silos provide an additional sustainable form of energy to operate the terminal. Containers will be transported by air. On top of the silos, containers are connected to flying spreaders. Nanofiber technology wiring has replaced steel wires. Feeder vessels are loaded partially with flying spreaders so that last minute loading changes can be made. Wheels are replaced by magnetic levitation or similar new technologies on the transport platforms inside the terminal area. Airships do medium range transport. On short distances, the individual and intelligent transport platforms take care of logistics. Equipment monitors its own wear and tear and orders and parks itself for necessary service. Equipment consists of universal modules that are interchangeable. The tailoring is done with software. The future I described can easily be possible in 50 years from now. It can also be more extraordinary or slightly less exotic. <laughs>